aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a liquid lipstick review video for you guys. I haven't done one of these in so long, but Wet n Wild just recently came out with a new line of matte liquid lipsticks and you guys know how I feel about my drugstore makeup. And if I can find a good product at a good price, I am definitely gonna tell you guys about it. So these new liquid lipsticks are called the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipsticks. I found these on a special edition cardboard display at Walgreens for $4.99 a piece. As far as I know, these are not limited edition and they should be incorporated into the Wet n Wild permanent line soon. There were about 12 to 14 shades on the display. My display was sort of picked over, so I couldn't exactly tell, you know, exactly how many shades there were, but I did end up picking up 10 different shades to show you guys today. So I picked up the 10 shades that I was particularly interested in, and let me just say, I am so glad that I picked up all of the shades that I liked the first time around because the formula of these is so good and I can definitely see this being the next big hit at the drugstore. This formula is so, so great. But before we get into that, let me just go through a couple of specifics on the packaging. These come in a tube that, like I said, very much reminds me of the Jeffree Star or Dose of Colors packaging. It has a black top. And then in terms of the actual wand, it is very similar to the Jeffree Star. It has kind of like that little dip in it. There is a sticker label at the bottom that has the product name and number. There was also a plastic safety seal that covered up the opening of this, which I absolutely love. I'm so happy Wet n Wild did that. Now, in terms of the actual color selection, I really, really liked what I saw on the display. There were quite a few nude shades, which we all know are super popular right now. There were some nudes that were even lighter than the shades that I have here that I didn't end up picking up. There were quite a few kind of bright, almost neon shades, and then there were some really nice dark colors as well. I went into this not really knowing what to expect because I never tried a Wet n Wild liquid lipstick before. So these are really nice. They go on really creamy. They're not necessarily like whipped, but they're kind of like a thicker cream. They're not super watery. When I initially applied them, because of how creamy and opaque they were, I was kind of afraid that they weren't going to actually dry down and turn into that kind of smudge proof finish. But I was in disbelief when I realized just a couple minutes after I applied it, it had completely set into that smudge proof long wearing finish. While these don't dry down completely, completely powdery, they're not super thick and sticky, but they do have a little bit of something. They kind of remind me of the Ofra liquid lipsticks, if you guys have tried those, but these are even thinner. They don't feel quite as, I guess, heavy on the lips, but the slight tackiness they leave on your lips, even, you know, a couple hours after application, does remind me of the Ofra. I know a lot of people like that because it doesn't leave your lips feeling dry or parched or chapped. I found that these fade fairly gracefully. The best way to take them off is going to be with an oil-based makeup remover. These do kind of do that cakey inner lip ring thing that I personally don't like very much. You can definitely notice it more with like the nude or the brighter colors. I feel like any of the colors that have a little bit of like a white tint to them or like they kind of have, you know, like that milky base definitely do that kind of inner ring of crustiness. I haven't noticed these flaking off or getting patchy throughout the day. When they fade, they fade fairly evenly, but they will, you know, start to wear away on the inner part of your lips 
as most liquid lipsticks do. The brighter or darker shades will leave a little bit of a stain behind, but I wouldn't necessarily claim these to be any sort of long wearing lip stain. I can get these to wear a good six to seven hours. Obviously, if you're eating kind of oily or greasy food, they will break down a little sooner. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into lip swatches of all 10 of the shades that I own so you can see how all of these look applied to my lips. First up, we have Coral Corruption, and this is a medium bright, kind of like a coral salmon-y pinky type color. And while this color does go on really beautifully, as it dries down, it does get a little like liney if you have a lot of lines in your mouth. Rebel Rose is such a beautiful, rosy, mauvey nude type color, and this color goes on so beautifully beautifully, especially for kind of a lighter shade. It's super opaque, not streaky. It doesn't settle. It's just gorgeous. Give Me Mocha is a beautiful medium brownish terracotta-y type color. I'm making a prediction right now, but I do think this is going to be probably the biggest hit in this collection. I can definitely see this one being the one that's impossible to find. Berry Recognize is probably my favorite color out of all of the ones that I purchased. This one I've already worn about three or four times now. It's a gorgeous, perfect, pinky purple berry color. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. Nice to Fuchsia is a really beautiful fuchsia berry type color. It is similar to the last one I showed you. I'll just go ahead and show you guys a quick side by side here. So this one here is nice to fuchsia. This one is berry recognized. They're just a couple shades apart. I would say nice to fuchsia is just a shade or two brighter, a little bit more pink tone. Oh My Dolly is a beautiful neon fluorescent hot pink. This is literally like highlighter pink on your mouth. And when I first saw this, I thought this color was going to be super streaky because oftentimes neon colors are, but this went on beautifully, super opaque, not streaky at all. Flame of the Game is a neon orange color. This is another one that I thought was definitely going to be streaky, but it's not. It is so beautiful. It applies super evenly and it does have a little bit of a red tone to it. So even though it is a neon orange, I still feel like it's a very wearable neon orange. Missy and Fierce is the most fierce bright red color ever. It is just a gorgeous true red, not too warm, not too cool. It doesn't make your teeth look yellow. It's perfect for the holiday time. If you don't have a red liquid lipstick, this is one of the best. Video Vixen is one of the beautiful dark colors that I have. This is a true burgundy, purpley red color. Like when you look at it on the applicator, it almost looks like purple, but it goes on like a beautiful dark red and I I love this color so much. And then the final shade I have is Goth Topic. And this is another dark shade, obviously. This one is a little less red and more of a purpley brown shade, but I will say it is very similar to Video Vixen, which is the last one. This one here is Video Vixen and this one here is Goth Topic. And even on my lips, they are very, very similar. If you like something a little bit more brown, go with Goth Topic. If you like something a little bit more red, go with Video Vixen, but I wouldn't necessarily say that you need both of them. So I hope those lip swatches were helpful to you guys. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video if it was. This formula doesn't have any type of scent to it. It's not even really like chemically. It's just very, very faint nothingness. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys and tell you that this is the best 
drugstore formula of a liquid lipstick that I have ever tried and that is definitely going to be reflected in my ranking. So in case you guys didn't know, I do have a liquid lipstick formula ranking where I ranked all of the formulas that I've ever reviewed on my channel. And I'm actually going to rank these as the new number seven and bump down the ColourPop Ultra Matte new reformulated version down to number eight. The reason I'm ranking these above the ColourPop is because I have found these to last even better on my lips. They're even more lightweight and I love how easily accessible these are in drugstores. And I had to put them after my Ofra because I do prefer the Ofra formula overall. I do think it is a little bit more hydrating and a little bit more luxe feeling than this is. But overall for five dollars, these are the best liquid lipsticks, especially at this price, but these are just some of the best liquid lipsticks in general. I'm just in shock. I did not expect these to be this good. I really, really love these so much. I highly recommend them. If there's a color that interested you for five bucks, I definitely think you should give them a try. So there we have it. My thoughts on the new Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to thumbs it up and share it with your friends and family, especially anyone else who loves matte liquid lipsticks because trust me, they need to give these a try. They are very, very good. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I will see you then. Bye. To discuss and that is the new Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. No one talks about this stuff and I do not know why. I talked about it in my Sephora VIP